You're waking up with Mike and Tara on QMFM. 701, uh, Brett Wilson from the Dragons Den joining us soon. Are you you're going to, right? You're going to ask him if, yeah. about Sarah McLaughlin. Somehow you'll Haven't kind of... Haven't decided yet. Maybe Tara will just weave it in somehow. Let's just see how it goes, shall we? Sarah will not talk. She hasn't talked about it, and so we'll see if they're they're linked. Brett Wilson is the MC and host for the Pret Port Nui, which is happening October 27th. This is a breast cancer fundraiser. So interesting. It's all from the man's point of view. And Brett Wilson is a prostate cancer survivor. And that the lunch beforehand is with Biff Naked as the MC. Of course, she Ooh. a breast cancer survivor. Yeah. So it's going to be great. There's the tea and the nui all at the Masic studio. And remember, we all sent in photos. I do, yes. They're going to unveil this big mural oh. of uh, breast cancer families and survivors of 2,200 different photographs. We can try to spot our little pixel in that piece of art. So Brett Wilson yeah. in just a few minutes on the line in the Mike and Tara show. And maybe we'll ask him about Sarah McLaughlin and... If her latest hit song is about him. If anyone can do it, Tara, I think you can. So I run to know if loving Brett is easy. We'll find out. <laughs> Till I see your smile. Huh, what are the odds there? Sarah McLaughlin and loving you is easy with Mike and Tara at 712. The pret pour Tea and pret pour Nui coming up October 27th. You know, I've emceed the pret pour Tea a couple of times with Tamara Taggart from CTV, and it's mm. always a, a great event. And this year it's enlarged to include a pret pour Nui, which is a nighttime event, all to raise money for breast cancer funding and research. And my goodness, we have a male host this year. It's a large responsibility that you have now. <laughs> what, do, what do you feel you'll bring to the table, Brett? <laughs> well, I might end up bidding on the odd thing. I'm uh-huh. stuck with that every once in a while, and <laughs> uh, I've never really come to regret that. But uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I mean, I, uh, I have a reasonable sense of humor. I stay sober most of the night, and uh, <laughs> I think I can uh, entertain. I've got a lot of friends in the Vancouver area. I've been doing business and traveling in and out of Vancouver now for a decade, so it. Uh, it's a it's a return to a, a lot of friends, sort of for home a, a homecoming. So, what's more fun, earning money or giving it away? Oh, no question. Uh, let me think. What's the answer? No question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say like money can't buy happiness. Is that something that people like us who don't have money say to ourselves? Like, can you in fact buy happiness? That's what I need to know from you. Well, it sure helps to have a couple of bucks in the bank, but uh, no, the uh, the link between those two is often confused, and uh, I now sometimes refer to the fact that I define success by the size of the smile, and uh, you know, I've got a daughter who just finished an engineering degree, and she's now working as a first mate on a sailing vessel down in the British Virgin Islands, and wow. uh, to find success by happiness. Speaking of family, uh, how, how are you doing in the relationship world? I'm keeping busy. Yeah? Keeping busy? Are you dating? I'm dating, yes. Oh, you are? Is it okay? Does she does? Is she happen to be a singer? Um, no, the girl I'm spending time with right now is uh, an actress uh, who has spent time in the uh, the Bollywood Hollywood world. She's actually in Vancouver right now, uh, shooting a part of a television show. Well, go ahead and give her a shout out then. Uh, good morning, Lisa Ray. <laughs> <laughs> he got it out of you. He got it out. We've always, of course, been curious about Sarah, and we—it's public that you spent some time with her. Are you still friends? Oh, Sarah, absolutely. One of the most wonderful people I know. You know, we chat often. So, you know, great girl, great woman. So, it, it, is loving you easy? Is that about you? Oh, we know it is. <laughs> That's a nice compliment. If it is, it was uh, a real treat when she first asked me if she could sing me a song, and I thought, well, most people would accept uh, that offer. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool song, and I hope it's done well for her. Yeah. Oh, it has. We play it all the time yeah. on this show. Do people pitch you ideas all over the place? Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, bartenders. Um, everybody just looks at me, smiles, and says, "I have a pitch," and they, you know, it, it varies. I don't have a pitch to make, but could I just get you to write me a check? That's all I want. <laughs> I've always wanted to like walk up to a mega super rich person and say, "Hey, could I just have a little, just something?" Like it's like a tip. Think of it like a tip. You know, there's days when that would be the easiest way to deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was wondering if you, you know, if, say you buy a pair of pants at, at yeah. Costco and they don't fit, do you take them back or you just throw them away? <laughs> like, do you stand in line at a customer service? Line? I haven't been to Costco in a while. <laughs> But, uh, no, the real point I was going to make is, I mean, I made my money the hard way, and so I yeah. tend to spend it and invest it the same way, which is, uh, which is carefully. I mean, I have, a, I have a good lifestyle for sure, but, uh, you know, I give away two or three times what I spend mm. uh, every year, and uh, so I don't begrudge myself that lifestyle. 
Come and support the breast cancer fundraiser Pretapore Lunch Tea and Nui. It's the 27th at the Masic Studio. You can find all the information on the QM website. Thank you very much, Mr. Dragon. Uh, I'm sure looking forward to the day. Safe travels, and we'll see you there. Appreciate it. Mr. Brett Wilson on the Mike and Tara show. He seems like such a down-to-earth fellow. He does. It's yeah. Kick back easy. Nice guy. Very good. Buy a ticket. You're waking up with Mike and Tara on QMFM.